Hey everyone, it's Robin from Rose and Lily. There's a question that comes up on crochet forums a fair bit, and that is how to resolve the cone shape that occurs when using very thick or jumbo yarn. Now I've covered this briefly in one of my previous videos, but I thought it would be useful to go into detail on how to fix it. So I'll be going through the two options I use. Option one being to use a larger crochet hook and option two being to add more stitches in the initial rounds. Now here I have this jumbo plush yarn and as you can see it's very thick. This is Loops and Threads Sweet Snuggle Yarn and the recommended hook size for this yarn is 11mm. For Amigurumi we usually use a few sizes smaller than recommended, so I'll start with 6.5mm which is technically too small. This is just to show you the cone effect. I'm going to crochet a standard circle with the pattern as shown on screen and I'm using the 6.5 millimeter hook. And I'll speed this up a fair bit to show you the end result. So there is the completed circle. And as you can see, it's not forming a flat circle how it's supposed to, it's formed this cone shape instead. I'll try stretch it out a bit, but this isn't going to help much. So to fix it, we're first going to try option one, which is to use a bigger crochet hook. I'm going to do the exact same circle pattern, just with the larger 8mm hook this time. Once again, I'll speed it up to show you the end result. And here is the completed circle. And as you can see, it still has a bit of a cone shape. But what I'm going to do is just stretch it out. After stretching it out, it's pretty close to flat. And I would be happy to use it at this point in a stuffed piece. If yours is still cone shaped at this point, you could use an even bigger hook, like a 9 or 10 millimeter, but remember the larger the hook, the larger the holes between the stitches. So I wouldn't go too much larger than 8 millimeters for this yarn. So I'll just show you a comparison to the first circle, where the cone shape is still quite pronounced. And because we used a larger hook, the second circle is a bit bigger as well. Now if you've used a larger hook and you're still getting the cone shape, you can move on to option 2. For this method, we're going to be altering the pattern to add more stitches within the first few rounds. So there is a standard circle pattern on the left and the modified version on the right which starts with 8 single crochet in a magic ring instead of 6. Round 2 then has 16 stitches instead of 12. Round 3 has 24 instead of 18. And then we skip round 4 
and go straight onto round 5 as per the normal pattern. Once again, I'll be speeding this up quite a bit to show you the end result. And for purposes of this video, I'll just be doing the first three rounds as shown on screen. But after that, you would skip round four and move straight onto round five as per the pattern. So there's the first three rounds of the circle. And as you can see, it's nice and flat. Now after round three, you would skip round four and do round five as per the normal pattern. So for that circle, I modified the pattern to use eight single crochet in the first round. And if you're still getting a cone shape after that point, you can add even more stitches as per the modified circle pattern on the right. Here you would start with 12 single crochet in a magic ring and then go up to 24 stitches in round 2 and then effectively skip rounds 3 and 4 and move straight onto round 5 as per the normal pattern. However, most of the time, by using a larger hook and the 8 single crochet to start, it should resolve the cone issue. So I'm just going to show you the three circles side by side. So there's the first one with the 6.5mm hook. And here's the second circle where we used the 8mm hook. And here's the third circle where we added more stitches to the first few rounds. Even though this last circle is bigger than the others, you will be skipping the next round. So that should even out the size. Using these different methods, you should be able to resolve any cone issue you have. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Please check out my website, roseandlilyamagurumi.com for all my free patterns.